Now let's add a couple graphics to all of this. So if you have anything selected here, simply click off to the side somewhere so that nothing is selected. And we're going to add the snowflake and the Christmas ball that you saw earlier. So those are actually called elements on the left-hand side of your screen. In the menu here, click Elements. And this pops up a variety of things that you can use, a lot of which are free, and put in your graphic. Because I used this Christmas ball and this snowflake recently, it shows up in my recents. But if I hadn't, and I wanted to find a snowflake, I could simply type snow in the search menu, hit return, and this is going to bring up a variety of things that have the word snow attached to those files. A couple things to notice here. When you hover over one, it may say free. Some of them have this little crown beside them. Those are for the pro plan. So if I wanted to use one of these, I would either need to be on the pro plan or if I put it in my graphic, I'm going to have to buy it. For this class, we're gonna go with the free route all the way around. So this is the snowflake that I wanna put over here. I'm gonna click my snowflake and it plops it right in the middle of your file. At that point, simply click on it and drag it wherever you would like it. So find some kind of cool graphic that you would like to put in your file. Click on it so that it put, and it'll put it in the middle of your file and then move it to where you would like it simply by clicking and dragging. You'll notice that my snowman that I just stuck in here is sitting on top of all of my text. Not quite what I, quite what I want him to do if I were gonna use the snowman. Again, once you get your graphics there, close the left-hand section of your work area by clicking the hide button, the little arrow, so that you have a bigger work area. And remember, anytime you have something selected, whether it's the snowflake, the snowman, or text, you have options at the top. For this snowman that I stuck on here, he's hiding Hot Holiday Toddy, and he's also hiding part of my text here. I want him behind those things. To get him behind them, if you look up at the options at the top, you'll see the word position. If your screen is, is crunched up really tiny and you don't see the word position, you'll see the three dots like we talked about earlier. Click on the three dots for more and then you'll see the word position. When I click on that, I've got a lot of options to choose from for the position. Two things to notice here to get him behind this text. If I click to back, it's gonna send this snowman all the way behind everything, including this yellow box, which we have to go back and change the color of in a little bit because that's not the holiday color I want. We don't want him all the way behind. So I'm gonna select him again, go back to position. If I click to front, He's all the way back to where he was on top of everything, but I'm gonna click backward one time. It put him behind the word lemon. I'm gonna click backward one more time and now you can see he is actually behind holiday and the word lemon hot toddy. So I'll do that again with my snowflake. I don't really want this snowman on here. I'm gonna throw him away. That was just so you could see it well. You can see that my snowflake is doing the same thing. It's on top of the word drinks. It's on top of the word hot. I'm gonna click on the snowflake so it's selected. Go to position, click backward, put it behind lemon hot toddy, click backward one more time. And now it's actually behind hot holiday drinks and 
lemon hot toddy. I want it to be a little bit smaller. So I select it again, drag my arrow in the corner, click on him and move him. And I actually want it to be a little bit crooked. I don't want these two lines of the snowflake to be lined up straight with this. So where you have a little double arrow at the bottom, I'm gonna rotate it just slightly. Make it a little bit smaller. And I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna click off to the side. And now I'm gonna run back over to the same place to elements. Click on elements, and because I wanted a Christmas ornament right here, I'm going to type in the word Christmas. And scroll down until I find a cool Christmas ornament, and that's the one that I had used before. It's free. Click on it. It's going to stick it right in the middle of my file. I'll click on it, drag it over. And again, close this so I have a larger window to view from. And we're going to stop for questions here in just a sec. Make him a little bit smaller. And pull him down to the side. Because I want it to look like it's stacked underneath lemon, I'm going to make it even a little bit smaller yet. Reposition some of these things just a little bit so that it looks like it's actually hanging from the L. And now I've really got a nice alignment here with hot holiday drinks. You see lemon hot toddy followed down the Christmas ornament. Click below for recipe and drinks. Any questions at this point? The next thing we're going to do is change the color of this yellow background, make it green. No questions? Uh, Ryan Thomas just asked me a question in the chat or you a okay. question in the chat. Um, can you change the color of your elements? No, unfortunately you can't. Well, I say no. There is some extensive ways to do that. Uh, it's more than we're going to get into here, but if you click on one of these elements to give you something to play with, the options across the top and this transparency would be one of the options. You can put styles on them would be an option, but we're not gonna get into that today, but definitely play with those things. So select one and look at the options across the top. Also, KJ, we have a question from Jesse B. Um, okay. Asking, and I think, you know, we're going to answer this first question in a few minutes, but is the link live? But secondly, right. um, is there an option to drop um, a product photo in place of text? Yes. yes, there is an option to drop product photos. So, uh, and again, that's not what we're going to do specifically today. But if you look in your menu over on the left hand side where it says upload, that's where you will go to upload Im any images that you want to use for your particular images. Great question. And then this is not an active link because this is going to be a JPEG file and you can't put a link within a JPEG file. That's why we're going to say the link is below in the text on our social media post. Great, KJ. And then Mark Moss added, can users upload custom elements? And I think you just answered that. Yes. With you the can. Yeah. And a lot of people that, we're good. Okay. And a lot of people are interested in some additional Canva classes. And we're going to have a poll at the end. And yes, with the questions about uploading images and graphics, that would definitely be something that we can do. Okay. Onward to making this a little bit more Christmassy. <laughs> 